So I'm gonna palpate the joint line. So I'm gonna follow up the tibial flare and find the gap. And I'm um, palpating the medial joint line. It's right in here. And then I'm gonna palpate the MCL, which is from the condyle to down here. And it's, you can't really feel it. Um, and then the medial femoral condyle and epicondyle are up here. Um, and then the medial tibial plateau is in here. And then medial muscles, so the pes and serene tendon. You follow this up and it's like the boggy areas, I think is what you said it was. Um, and then the semitendinosus, so that's back here. And it's the most medial one. Can you push your heel in? And then the semimembranosus is on the other side, more laterally. And then anterior structures, so the patella is right here, medial and lateral border, superior and inferior border. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. And then the tibial tuberosity is down here. And then the muscles, um, the patellar tendon is in here. And then the quadriceps. Now the lateral structures, so the joint line over here. So that's right up here. I'd follow the tibial flare, find the joint line. Oh, my cat and dog are fighting. I'm so sorry. And then <laughs> I'd find the fibular head, so I'd have her rotate her foot and find it. And then palpate that, and that's the attachment of the bicep femoris and LCL. So over here. The LCL, you can feel it. It goes from the condyle to the fibular head. So you'd rub your finger like this to find it. Um... And then the popliteus would be so just above the joint line. Um, and then the bicep femoris is another hamstring muscle, so it's back here. So you can push your heel in. And I feel it here. And then the IT band is right here. And then... Oh, I can feel them. I can feel it move this way. So, and then posterior structures. Can you roll over on your stomach, please? <laughs> um, it's the pop popliteal fossa. It's in here, so you, you can palpate for like the Baker cyst, and then the hamstrings. <laughs>